Welcome to Plugin India. We are here at Sun Mobility in Bangalore. We are here after almost exactly a year, and a lot has changed in that time. And uh, to tell us a little more about what progress Sun Mobility has made in the last one year, we have Mr. Yograj, who is a part of the strategic department, uh, and he heads all the strategy initiatives here at Sun Mobility. So, uh, Yograj, uh, first of all, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for giving us your time. And uh, my first question to you would be: uh, We have this behind me. Uh, and it's a little bit different from what it was last year. So tell us a little about what's changed and what progress you've made in the last one year. Sure. So the last uh, station that we have displayed uh, in April 2018, right? Uh, that was generation two of the swapping station that we have been developing internally. And now over the last, uh, from April till uh, till October, we've made several technology upgrades in that station. We've been constantly testing the station ac across various vehicle form factors and in different conditions and basis are learning we have upgraded some of the hardware just like chargers and some of those electronic chips inside and we've made the station more robust and reliable we've also been updating our software continuously and we've added a bunch of features which we believe are very useful for a fleet operator or even for our internal operations and management of the station can you tell us a little bit more about the entities whose vehicles will be able to use these stations so over last one year, we've partnered uh, with several entities. Some of them are OEMs, some of them are fleet operators. And the idea is this whole ecosystem will develop if you have the right partnerships. Uh, with OEMs, the way we have formed, the one which we have announced is Ashok Leyland mm. uh, for the buses. Mm. Similar to Ashok Leyland in two and three wheelers uh, vehicles, mm. we have uh, tied up with all the leading manufacturers, Indian mm. manufacturers who are producing these vehicles and who mm. are intending to make them electric. Mm. And under this partnership, we have integrated our technology with their vehicle platforms. Mm. And then we are going to supply them our plug and play integration kit, mm. which enables them to mass produce vehicles which are compatible with our solution. Right. And along with the OEMs, we've also partnered with several fleet operators mm. because we believe fleet is an application where EVs will make a lot of commercial sense right. and that's why under these partnerships we have understood their requirement, mm. we have created some tailored solutions for them mm. and then we have we are looking at deployment. So mm. we've already deployed our solution under our partnership with Smarty. Mm. Smarty is one of the largest fleet operators using electric three wheelers mm. in the country mm. and under that partnership we have deployed a few vehicles uh, uh, in Delhi and CR mm. which are right now operational in the Gurgaon area mm. where these e-rickshaws are transporting people from uh, the metro station to mm. offices or homes or commercial establishments mm. and they are using our solution there. Mm. Now um, Ashok Leland for uh, the, the specific bus for which you have developed the battery swapping technology uh, tell us the progress about that bus. Tell us uh, uh, when we'll actually get to see them on Indian roads. Sure. So the last station that we displayed at the Auto Expo, it was a 40 feet container. Right. That was our generation one of the swapping station. Hmm. Over one year, that station was extensively used by Ashok Leyland to test their vehicles. Right. And both of us have had several learnings and we've created a new generation swapping station, which is half the size, 20 mm. feet, uh, we've put it in a 20 feet container, mm. which is very compact and it can have up to 18 batteries. Mm. Uh, and we've, we've upgraded the robotic mechanism, we've upgraded the chargers, we've upgraded the cooling mechanism mm. of batteries in that swapping station mm. to ensure that it works in the Indian condition. Mm. Now, this swapping station is going to be installed in Ahmedabad mm. uh, along with the buses from Ashok Leyland. Mm. Ashok Leyland has apparently won a tender from right. uh, Ahmedabad Janmag Limited. Right. And under that project, we are going to deploy this swapping station right. in the coming month. Mm. And you should see, even today, there are some buses which are operational mm. in Ahmedabad on a trial basis. They are using our manual uh, backup quick interchange station right. for uh, for their trials mm -hmm. and the automated swapping station will be installed in the coming month. Right. So you're working very closely with Ashok Leyland. Absolutely. Right. Yuvraj, you've been with the company since its inception. Uh, what progress uh, do you envision happening in this year and in the coming year in, by 2020? Sure. So this is the year of deployment uh, where we believe 
the technology that we have developed over the last two years and the partnership that we have formed over the last two years, we are going to commercialize the technology and realize those partnerships into meaningful businesses. Mm -hmm. And this year, we are going to commercially scale our operations in at least two cities, uh, most likely in mm -hmm. Delhi and Bangalore, where we al in Delhi, we already have operations. We are going to expand those operations. In Bangalore, we are going to start up with a few fleet operators and then expand the fleet there. And uh, next year is the year of scale up where we are going to scale those partnerships uh, to thousands of vehicles mm. because once we have the infrastructure in the city mm. and once we have covered the city with the swapping station, we believe it is very easy to uh, incrementally add more and more vehicles uh, to the network. Right. Uh, now, Ibra, I want to talk a little more about this station specifically. Uh, it's different from what it was last year. And also, what I find striking about it is that um, it's uh, much smaller than what people imagine in their minds when they hear about such a swapping station they think that oh that'll be something massive be something huge but this is actually very compact you can put it basically anywhere uh, tell us a little bit more about that about the form factor of the station sure. so the idea is to create a station that can be deployed virtually anywhere right and we believe how ATMs have worked out in the country mm. because of their smaller form, form factor and the lower footprint, mm. we are able to scale up the ATM network across the country. Right. We have used that philosophy and right. created a swapping station which is compact enough right. that can be placed in a cafe, it can be placed at a fuel pump, it can be placed at a vehicle service station, mm. it can be even placed at uh, locations of public tran transit like for example the metro stations. Mm or uh, the railway stations or the bus stops. Mm. And that is how we've designed a very compact station. Mm. It is portable. Mm. It doesn't require a uh, lot of civil work. Mm. Uh, if you believe that that location is not the right location, mm. after a few days, you can move the station to some other location. Mm. All it needs is a 28 kilowatt power connection mm. and, you, and it's a plug and play device which right. can be plugged in and be operational from day one. Right. It just takes one day to install the station, actually it just takes half a day to install the station Wow! and uh, you can just operationalize the fleet on the same day. Mm. That's how we have created a technology which is very easy to implement in the Indian conditions. Mm. The E2O, uh, that has I believe a lithium iron phosphate uh, chemistry battery. Uh, will it work with uh, you know those kinds of batteries, will it work with these stations? So we've used a, a different type of chemistry here, we've mm. used an NMC chemistry which right. we believe uh, will be more suitable for this application, right. we are going to manage uh, the batteries ourselves mm. and we are completely agnostic to the chemistry. Right. We are trying to use a technology which we believe is going to meet our cost, mm. uh, technology and safety parameters. Mm. And considering those parameters, we are evaluating several types of chemistries mm. which are fitting uh, this scheme, our scheme of things and whatever works, we are going to upgrade those technology into the same box. Mm. The way we have designed the architecture mm. is that the same box can have two different types of chemistries. Right. Uh, we've already uh, are working with two suppliers, two global suppliers and using two different types of chemistries in the same battery pack form mm. factor. And we believe the in future as and when technology develops in the battery side, we are going to upgrade our batteries with those technologies. Right. So you spoke, you mentioned NMC chemistry. And that is what is being used in that battery that goes into that picture. Um, now, uh, that battery has a really small form factor. It's highly portable. So, um, obviously, that makes it easier for uh, drivers to carry it around and to swap it. So, tell us a bit about, a little bit about that. Uh, so, how uh, easy it is to uh, currently, swap out those batteries. Currently, the lead acid batteries that are used in e-rickshaw, mm. they weigh anywhere between 120 to 140 kilograms. And it is very difficult for for an individual user impossible in fact to, a 140 to, kilograms. Yeah, yeah to move or play around with that battery right so they what they do is they use these batteries for 6 months they charge the e rickshaw and then they replace after between 6 to 9 months hmm. uh, we have created a similar capacity battery in a very small form factor and which right. is very light where it is uh, as close to some 13 kilograms which right. can be easily lifted by a e rickshaw uh, operator right. or a user right. and uh, the idea is to make it very portable, lightweight, compact. We are constantly working on improving the design using the technology that can further lightweight these batteries and uh, we believe like this you can package more batteries in the same vehicle, give them a higher range mm. in a more reliable way. Mm. 
So, uh, continuing on from the previous question about the NMC batteries, um, the NMC battery can, uh, batteries are not really that tolerant to um, heat, uh, which is one of the reasons why lithium iron phosphate is used in the E2O. Um, in India hot summers, how do you plan to um, ensure that you know the batteries don't sure. face any problems? So, there are two parts of it. Um, in N NMC chemistry also, uh, you can have several types of uh, cells which can which can have a low heat profile and we have used the one which which has a slightly higher tolerance to heat uh, apart from this uh, the way we are managing the batteries uh, we are cooling these batteries in the swapping station as soon as they go into charging and at the same time there is a plug and play dock that is that goes into the vehicle which which is insulated box which keeps the batteries cool while in operation so we've used technology to manage the temperatures in India and we believe uh, that if you are managing the batteries uh, cooling uh, in the swapping station, so every after three hours the person comes for a swap, mm. he pl puts the battery inside the, mm. in the, inside the station oh. and he gets a cool battery pack. pack right. So that cool battery stays cool inside mm. the plug and play dock while mm. in use and then again he comes back for swap and cools the battery. So right. that's how we believe we are maintaining the temperature under a certain band right. to get a higher life from the same battery pack. Right. So Yuvraj, my final question to you is uh, about the connectivity features of this station. Uh, tell us a little bit about how it communicates with the server sure. and so on. And how, the information that it sends you, how does it do that? So uh, there are four parts of our solution. One is the smart battery. Second is the quick interchange station. Third is the plug and play dock that we have been talking about. The fourth part of the solution is called smart network. Basically, smart network is a bunch of technologies that we have developed that connects us to all the batteries, all the stations, in real time gives us updates. Mm. So, this station can latch on to any Wi-Fi and then transmit data about battery. As soon as the battery goes inside the station, uh, the battery information is downloaded into the station and the station transmits the data to our servers. Right. In real time, we analyze the data and information that we see from the batteries. Right. And if there are any faults or any uh, issues in the batteries, we get alerts right. from the battery and through the station. Right. So we have programmed the station to collect information and transmit the same right. through wi wireless networks. Right. And we collect the same on our backend. Okay. So, uh, you heard it from uh, Yuvraj. This is a very impressive piece of technology and uh, we really, really hope to see it be successful in the future. Um, I hope that, you know, in another year's time, if you're here in Bangalore, these stations will be everywhere in Bangalore. Absolutely. And eventually they'll spread all over India. Absolutely. Thank you so much for answering all these questions and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much.